How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called Valid Palindrome. This is a question that's commonly asked by Facebook, Apple, and Microsoft. The problem description says, given a string, determine if it is a palindrome, considering only alphanumeric characters and ignoring cases. Note, for the purpose of this problem, we define an empty string as a valid palindrome. Cool, so what's a palindrome, right? That's the first piece of information we need. If you don't know, a palindrome is just a sequence of characters that reads the same forwards as it does backwards. So with that now, have being said, uh, let's go through example one. So a man, a plan, a canal, Panama, returns true. That's because we compare the first letter with the last letter, and it says we should ignore case. So we compare uppercase A and lowercase A, they're both A, so we continue. Now we have a space here on the left, so we continue, so now we're pointing at M, and on the right we're pointing at M, and they're the same, so we keep continuing. So basically we start at the left, start at the right, find a valid character, compare them. If they're the same, we continue. Um, if they're not the same, we could just return false because then they're not a palindrome. So for example, two, it's the same kind of logic. So we have R and R, first and last. They're the same, we continue. A and A, they're the same, so we continue. C and C, they're the same, so we continue. Now we get to E and a space, so we skip the space, and now we're comparing E and A, not the same, therefore we return false. So we kind of talked through the algorithm uh, going through these examples, but we're going to have pointer, call it left, call it right, you know, whatever you want to call these things. So pointer left, I'll call them I and J probably. So I and J, I starts at the beginning of the string, J starts at the end of the string. And while we haven't found an alphanumeric character for I, we continue moving I up. And while we haven't found an alphanumeric character for J, we move J down. Once we're on two alphanumeric characters for I and J, we compare them. If they're the same, we just keep going and keep continuing until they cross or meet. Um, otherwise, if they're not the same, we could just return false right away. So if we find two things that aren't the same along our traversal, we just return false. Otherwise, if our outer loop breaks, then we could just return true. So let's put that in the code. So we said we have a pointer for the left side of the string and a pointer for the right side. So I'll call I one of them, I'll set it to zero to start at the beginning of the string. In J, we'll start at the last character, so s dot length minus one. And now we'll say, well, we haven't, uh, while well, I and J haven't met, so we haven't gone to the middle of the string, we're gonna continue. And now we need to make sure that I is pointing at a valid character, right, an alphanumeric character. So we wanna check if I is still less than J, meaning they haven't met, and the character dot is letter or digit at s dot care at i if that's not the case we want to keep moving i so while we haven't found the alphanumeric character for i we're going to keep incrementing it once this loop breaks we'll have stopped at a character that is alphanumeric whoops this should actually be a while loop because we want to continue while it's not true um, now we're gonna do the same thing but for J. So while I is less than J again, and the character that we're on for J is letter or digit, S dot care at J. So while the character at the Jth index is not alphanumeric, we're gonna move J down. So we'll say J minus minus. Now, once these two loops have broken, I is pointing at an alphanumeric character J is pointing alpha, at an alphanumeric character or they've crossed. So we're gonna check again if I is less than J and we're gonna check if they're the same or not. So if character dot, and we'll say two lowercase because we wanna ignore case, S dot care, whoops, care at I, and we'll say plus plus so we don't have to increment it later. And if that's not equal to character dot two lowercase s dot care at j and we'll say minus minus so we don't have to do it later so if they haven't crossed i and j and the two characters we're comparing are not the same when both put to the lowercase we could return false otherwise if we get through this entire loop and we haven't returned false meaning we haven't found two characters that when converted to lowercase are uh, not the same we can return true. So we'll say return true. Let's make sure this works. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that's how to solve a valid palindrome. I feel like this is a question that's often used to kind of like weed people out. It's probably given on like coding challenges 
and kind of like first intro round. So make sure you guys know how to do this and understand the problem. Um, yeah, if that was helpful, be sure to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. I, I upload a video every day, try and show you guys a new tech interview. Uh, good luck on all your interviews and I'll see you guys next time.